Steve rented a VCR and showed up at my house and said, look at this thing, you can watch a movie. And I thought, well, that's nice, but that's crazy. But the more we looked into it, the more viable it seemed. It was 27, childless. You know, it's a time when you can take chances. So we jumped in the car and we said, screw it, we'll give the video thing a run. It skyrocketed after that. Tonight's the night you stay Video cassette was the dream come true. It's like, oh my God, this is what I've always wanted to have access to. Video headquarters had the best collection. And Ken was there right from the beginning. It was still very early in the video business. I became very involved on a national level. This was a time when the studio's attitude was, what do we need independent retailers for? Studios embracing the big chains at the expense of independence. And yet, Ken was one of the power brokers in that circle that other independent retailers from around the country looked up to. So the studios had to meet with Ken. And meetings got very heated. You could tell they resented having to talk to us. This one executive was saying, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let a little New England store f with my Christmas bonus. Ken was competing with Blockbuster at that point. He was competing with Hollywood Video at that point. If you're not thrilled at adapting to the big corporation's formula for video stores, we'd like to invite you to visit us at Video Headquarters. And Video Headquarters held their own through that. The decision to close was, it's just too expensive to be here. And no matter how I ran numbers, I just couldn't envision the store being sustainable without putting a whole lot of employees through some really bad time. I think with the store closing, he really thought a lot about everyone else and not just himself. And I think that's rare in a person. It's just coming to grips and saying, you know, this is it. It's been a good ride. You beat everybody. Take your ball and go home. As these hometown video stores disappear, it's the selection and uh, the quality of uh, service that you're gonna be missing, I think. You know, I thought people remember it fondly as a place where they had a good time and they found some entertainment. That's great.